Hey there everybody, welcome back to Extreme Warfare Revenge, this is episode number two. My name is Andy, the Uncommentator, of course, playing, as I've said, Extreme Warfare Revenge as PWG. Now, just a couple of things I want to address from the first video, if anyone watched that. Apologies for the terrible sound quality in that video, I'm hoping I've managed to sort that out in this video and, of course, the rest of the series going forward. Something else I just want to say, which I didn't mention in the first uh, video, so... I'm going to be, I think I didn't mention this, but I'm going to be booking basically a year's worth of PWG. So this is going to be running essentially in conjunction with a real life calendar. Now, as you can see there, because we just started this game, the date is still the 1st of January. Whereas in real life we're in February, whatever, whatever that, the date may be uh, when I upload this. So I do have a little bit of catching up to do, but I feel like once I actually start getting into booking the, the shows and what have you, I'll be able to catch up pretty quickly. Now, as I said, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have this run in the entire year. But having said that, I'm gonna try and intersperse other videos in with with uh, this um, this series. So last year, when I basically just uploaded Pokemon Snap, this year I'm hoping to keep this running all year and then upload more Air Coats normal videos. Now I've said that, I feel like I feel like I did say that in the last video, but if I didn't, just to be absolutely clear, um, that that is what I'm gonna be doing. So it won't just be e e EWR Extreme Warfare Revenge all the way through the year, for those of you that don't particularly like wrestling or don't think this is a particularly entertaining series. Anywho, uh, oh, so one last thing I did want to mention. Um, while this series is running, if anyone wants to leave any comments or, on any of the videos for some booking suggestions for what to do or guess where they think certain storylines are going, then please do that. I think it'd be quite interesting to uh, get that going in the uh, in the chat in the in the chat in the um, in the comment section. If anybody wants to. Uh, Anyone wants to comment and make suggest, like I said, make suggestions or predictions or what have you. Anyway, we're two minutes in and we haven't actually done anything yet, so let's remedy that. So the first video, if you didn't watch it, I talked about the file editor and actually basically setting the game up. So now we have actually got a game set up. I'm gonna, again, I'm probably this this is gonna be largely a a, um, a how-to video if you like. So I'm gonna basically talk through how the game works rather than actually start playing the game. So. Real, realistically, we're going to start playing the game in the next video. So if you know how this game works, then you may not be that interested in this video. But hopefully, stick around. You may you may learn something or find something particularly interesting. I'm going to be setting certain bits up as I go along. But initially, what I'm going to do is just talk through basically this interface and how it works. Now, I'm not going to do it in order because I'm going to start with this one here, meeting. So if I go to meeting... So you can see here we've got our personal assistant who's called Sophie, don't know who that is or who it's based on, I'm guessing it may have been somebody that the game developer knew at the time. Now Sophie's really helpful because she tells you, she tells you what you need. Uh, so you can see there we need some writers, we need some medics, referees, we need to have a road agent. She tells you what sort of, expect, excuse me, what sort of expectations you can have, so the quality of the, the, quality of the staff you can get. Uh, what sort of TV ratings you can get if we indeed have a TV deal, which we don't. Um, one, you know, basically she, she's really, really helpful. So if you are a total novice at this game, and even if you're not, referring to her is always useful. I'm not going to go through every single menu. I'm just going to talk through some kind of, um, in some kind of logical order. Uh, so again, the finance department, they just tell you how to, how to pitch your... Uh, your ticket prices, etc. Scouting department's kind of interesting. It tells you who's available, but I don't really pay too much attention to that. So we'll come out of that one. Yeah, so now so now we've looked at that. So yeah, as I said, I'm just going to talk through most of these. I may do them in some kind of order now. I just wanted to go to that one first. So you can see we've got our mail. So if we didn't have any mail, uh, that wouldn't be lit up blue, but we do. So it's just basically the, the owner telling me uh, telling me good luck. I think, um, I think Excalibur uh, is one of the... Uh, Found as a PWG, but again, don't quote me on that one. I'm not, I'm not, I've not picked PWG because I'm some kind of wrestling hipster fan. Not that there's anything wrong with following small indie promotions, but I, I really, I've never seen a, I've never seen a PWG match. I've seen about a few the odd clips. I think I've seen a few Young Bucks clips when they did they invent the indie taker or the Meltzer driver, if it's called in PWG. I don't know. I may have seen a clip of that, and then also a clip where. I can't remember everyone that's in it, but I think it's Jushin Liger, Ricochet, Malachi Blackout, I think it was called Tommy End at the time, one or two others. And let's just say they've all got their thumbs in certain places where you wouldn't expect them to have them. And if you know, if you know, you know. Okay, so let's get rid of that. We don't need that email. So we said we don't have any email. It goes dark blue. 
Right, notepad, and then obviously you can make your own notes. So again, yeah, as I said, I'm just going to go through the uh, menu. So we actually click on PWG. So this gives you the overall of how the company's doing. So you can see here how risky we are. So the risk level, basically, that's how that's how risky a sort of product we can present. So if we put the risk up to 100, we'd be able to, um, well, do more risky things, basically. So more match types become available, the riskier you get. So at the minute, I don't think we could do a barbed wire match, but if we put the... The risk that we would be able to so that's um but but there are th there's factors involved as to why you wouldn't would and wouldn't do that the risky you are the harder it is to get sponsorships and tv deals so you need to you need to find a balance production values which obviously sophie talked about we need to increase our so we'll look at doing that in a second potentially how much we're going to spend on merchandise how much we're going to spend on advertising now the public image is important now this is something i talked about in the first video about this game only ends when you one of the way that one of the ways in fact i think the only way this game is is when you get fired if your public image continues to drop, then then you will you will lose your job. So that is something to be aware of. Likewise with the money, if you're continuously losing money or in debt, you will uh, you will lose your job and the game will end. Now we don't have a development territory. We don't have a training camp. I don't think no, we don't. We can open one of those if we go into. We're not going to do that for now. Right. So we'll go to the sponsors. So this is where you would um, try and get some some finance. So basically, every time you run a show, the sponsors will pay out whatever the value is there. So you can see that paper show so if we got cricket wireless six hundred and one thousand dollars per show. i mean it isn't to be fair that depends on the time slot but let's not worry too much about that that's just let's just focus on the so you obviously want the the highest money as possible so as i said i'm gonna kind of set up as we're going along here so let's do that um so i'm gonna leave the risk at 69 i think just not because it's slightly comical um production 50 what did sophie say about production you're always best off listening to sophie whatever she says increase to around 55 right let's do that then because it can affect your public image if you don't listen to her basically so 40 that yeah for the sake of forty thousand dollars if I, you know what let's raise it by 10 let's go up let's pay 75 and go up by 10 why not okay so that means our monthly production costs will will have gone up but hopefully it'll be worth it i'm just going to lower the merchandise budget because that is a lot of money to spend on merchandise so i'm going to lower that right down to about 22 Ooh. and then advertising i'm actually going to increase advertising because hopefully if we do that we'll get more viewers so let's move that up to 40 let's go 57 why not we do need to keep an eye on this so um Let's, um, yeah, we'll go with that though. I mean, again, the finest development will suggest things, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with that for now. Right, so let's get some sponsors involved then. So we've got a public image of 75 at a regional level. That, to be, actually, just want to mention as well, this was one of the reasons why I was PWG because I didn't want to start. I wanted to start a smallish promotion that I could grow, but not one too small that basically a year would make any difference. So. When you get to, there are different sizes, if you don't know this, there are different sizes of promotion. So if we were WWE, for example, we would be global. So it goes global, national, cult, regional, small, and then backyard. So you want to get to, when you get to cult uh, size, you can pretty much do anything you want at cult. Um, so I just want to start just below that level and give us something to work towards. Um, anyway, that's uh, so yeah. This is what again. This is one of the reasons why it's PWG, and they don't have a TV deal. That was another reason. So it was something that that's something I want to try and start up myself. Anyway, let's get some sponsors involved then. So if you take interested only, then obviously that's going to filter out. It saves, saves wasting your time. So just for just as an example, if we click on, I think is it eBay? No, not eBay. Um, think, 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 think. Uh, oh, actually, let's just do this thing. Could tick that off. So if you wanted the big expensive sponsors, the ones that give you the most money, I should say. Um, so we go to Pepsi, we talked about them in the first one. So we'd offer them a sponsorship deal and they'll and they'll turn us down. So uh, that's why we take the interested only. Um, so we take interested only, you can see that they all disappear. I've never been, anyone that's not appeared on interested only, I've never got a sponsorship deal with them. So I would recommend doing that. So we need to just try and get the minimum, uh, sorry, the most amount of pay possible. So let's put minimum 300,000 and see who comes up. I'm not really sure what this morality thing is. I was just put it up to 100 because obviously it's the highest it can go. So you best have just getting as high as possible. I think roughly, I think from memory we can get it to about 400,000. Uh, I think Yahoo's 400,000. There we go. Four. So we'll get these four sponsors. We've got Google, Jack Daniels, Toys R Us, 
and Yahoo, which sounds like a pretty good weekend to me. So, if we go to... So, it doesn't matter who you offer main and... You don't have to offer the most... You don't have to offer the sponsor that gives you the most money, the main sponsor. It really doesn't matter. Uh, or if it does, I don't know why it matters. So, let's just get these on board. No. Took the wrong button there. Yeah. Get on with it. Uh, I do use the keyboard quite a lot for this. I find it a little bit quicker. Right, so we've got four sponsors involved. Uh, so we're going to be roughly... We're going to be over a million pounds a show from that, which sounds like a lot of money. And that's because it is. Uh, unrealistically high as well for yeah, for an indie... Uh, a regional indie-style promotion. But anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's the... Um, the only problem with sponsorship... Con anyway, let's not worry about too much about that, actually. Let's, let's get on with it. So that's the basic... So you just need to keep an eye on this screen. That's basically... So that's the essential... Um, overview of the company. I'm not going to bother with roster. We'll come back to that at the end. Quick roster. That just breaks your roster down into faces and heels and tweeners if you've got any. And then you can split it into... You can filter it by... This. So basically you just want to see who your women are. We haven't got any, which I, I knew, but let's use that as an example. So if you just want to see your managers are... Okay, we didn't, I didn't realize we didn't have any of that. But you, you get the idea. So again, I don't really bother with that too much. Staff will come back to. So other promotions. This just gives you an overview of the other promotions that are currently on the game. And give you some options as to what you can do with them. So if we click on Ch Chikara, for example. So we can see Chikara's events and when they are, when they're running, what they're called, etc. We can give them money if we want to do that. Don't know why you never want to do that, but you can do. If you want to be... Um... I don't what the word is now. Uh, anyway, move on. Uh, right. Uh, you can buy them out. So you do get... Sometimes you get... You can see if a promotion's struggling. So you can buy them out. Um, yeah. So they don't have a TV deal, so let's just go to WWE, so they do have a TV deal, obviously. So you can see they're the TV shows that are um, that are currently on, and what network they're on. It's Smackdown Live on Tuesday, so it's uh, this is before it moved to Friday. I did mention that in the uh, opening video, actually, that this is, this is as of roughly, I'm playing this, uh, the database is set up, sorry, as of roughly Dynamite starting, so roughly October, November 2019 time. Um, is the uh, just to, just to put the timestamp on this. Other workers, I mean, again, fairly obvious. So it's just a list of this is where you'd hire people. You can see who they work for. So Arja Kong currently at AEW. Um, if anyone's um, actually, not, not, actually, not going into that too much. So yeah, that's the, that's that one. Feuds. Um, don't need to worry too much about this really. I tend not to use this very often. But if you want to start a feud, it's just a way of getting people over. Uh, so you can do that if you want. But again, I'm not too worried about that one. Other staff, same as other workers. So you just hire, hire other staff. Tag teams. This shows you the tag teams that you, your tag teams that you've currently got active. So we currently have Aussie Open, which is nice. Now, if you untick active and untick whole, more, more, um, yeah, more tag teams. <laughs> I don't remember, but more tag teams will appear. Uh, if you click on View the Tag Team, this shows you all the tag teams on the game. Uh, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, yeah, so for example, Ring Camp. Um, so they're currently active, but we don't ha we don't have we don't have Walter on the roster. So that's why if we tick Holy, they disappear. Um, so just to just to explain how that one works. Okay, uh, stables. We don't have a stable, but again, that's where you'd manage your stables. So like when I talked about the last video, Bullet Club, for example, if you had Bullet Club, if you wanted to make Bullet Club, you could do that. Or any other stable, for that matter. Titles. So this just lists who your champions are. So you can see there we've got a world champion, Jeff Cobb. And the tag team champions are the Rascals. Um, if you want to get rid of belts, we do that here. Add a new belt. Do all that stuff there. Uh, Japan. We'll come back to Japan, actually. Um, right, television. So this is where we would see, if we had TV deals, we'd see what they were called, who the announcers are, how the ratings are doing. This is where we try and get new TV deals. So I'm going to be sending out a promo tape at some point. Um, but I'll come back to that when we uh, when I get to doing it. Events. So this is the um, monthly events. So you can see what they're called. You can decide how big they are. So if we click on Alter for Bask in His Glory, we can change it to a pay-per-view. Uh, the bigger the size, the more it costs you to put the event on. So you have to do that. obviously you need to be able to make the money back. Um, so again, if we use Sophie, she tells us what we should or shouldn't be doing. Internet, uh, that doesn't actually go to the internet, but we'll click on it anyway. So this is uh, some, I don't, are these real websites? I think they probably are. But there's just fake news stories on it. So we can click on this one, for example. 
Um, so it just talks about talks about some of the other uh, promotions, some of the wrestlers. Uh, you can see a TV guy. This is quite useful because if you try, if you don't want to compete with other uh, TV shows, you can you can see when they're on. This is quite a nice, quick way of doing that. So, so Thursday, Thursday's good if you want to if you want to put a new TV show because you'll have no competition. This is where it tells you as well that when I said earlier about promotions going out of business and being able to buy them out, it's on this screen, uh, which, which it will tell you that. It'll, 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 you'll have a little news story. It'll say so and so is struggling financially. So that's uh, w worth keeping an eye on. That that's the only one I'm going to look at. The others are kind of pointless, especially Wrestling Heat. Um, this one's kind of useful. Your own website. So there's the creator of the game. This will make a bit more sense when. Oh, this will, well, I say more sense. This will be more useful once we actually start playing. But if I just click on here, this is quite useful. Or can be useful. It just gives you a, a rough overview. I mean, a lot of this stuff, to be fair, you don't really need to look at. It's just kind of there. Um, if you if you want to look at it for whatever reason. Right, so let's come out of that. Uh, we've looked at internet options. Uh, meeting, we've gone into finance. So again, just keep an eye on your, on your costs. So that's how much money you make. That's how much it's costing you. Fairly obvious. Charity. Charity doesn't do anything. I think if you if you read the FAQ or well, there's some kind of guide on this game, I think. I think one of the questions, one of the FAQs is like, why would you give money to charity? And, and the answer is because it gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling inside, I think. Or worse to that effect anyway. So it would be nice if you donated to charity, if your public image went up, for example. But it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Literally doesn't do anything. So uh, yeah, this is where you change your ticket prices. Uh, this gives you your merchandise sales, who's selling the most merchandise. I don't think this really matters, to be honest with you. And then how much you're spending on what, what, your, what your costs are and wages, and if you ever need a loan. I've never taken a loan out, so I don't really uh, know too much about that. And then options. <clears throat> so this this is basically just to keep your um, your uh, your emails down. So if I just click on the extreme mail option. So in terms, of, in terms of this, if you don't want any emails about who people release... So like wrestlers leaving, then you could you can take them off altogether. I mean, I I would strongly recommend not doing that. But if you were, initially, you'll get hundreds of emails, and um, they can be a bit of a ball ache to get through. So, um, yeah, this is this is how you change that. But I'm just going to quickly change something here, like match reports. I'm going to change that to Scott Keith because he um, he gives star ratings. Because I'm a bit of a nerd, I like star ratings. So. I like to quantify things, uh, which is, I think is a good way of doing it. Uh, they don't all give star ratings, but Scott Keith does, and someone else does as well. I can't remember. Doesn't, again, it doesn't matter who does that. Let me just go to the mail options. So ownership changes. Yeah, there are some that I don't, I'm not interested in. So ownership changes always. Bankruptcies always. Wrestling hirings. Yeah, direct rivals are above. Yeah, wrestlers leaving. Direct rivals are above. Yeah. Wrestler retirements always. So in terms of retiring, development territory changes always. Yep. Staff hirings. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. TV deals. I interested in TV deals. Sponsorship. Sponsor changes. I'm not interested in. Uh, TV shows help. Yep. And big events help. Yep. Okay. So that's my preferences. For the emails, right, which again will become apparent when I, uh, why that's useful when I click next. Right, so we didn't look at roster, we didn't look at other, we did very brief look at the workers, we didn't look at Japan, and we didn't look at staff. Um, yeah, so, so staff, so that's all, that's all the staff we've got now. Sophie said we needed more staff, which we're gonna, we're gonna sort out in a second. Okay, and right, so let's just talk about Japan very quickly. So the Japanese promotions on this game work slightly differently to the Ameri to the North American promotions. So you can't you can't choose to run a Japanese promotion. Also, you can't uh, delete these promotions or add new ones on. So these twelve promotions, uh, the the like the, the they're basically on the game. Now some of these don't exist anymore, as far as I'm aware. I don't think World Japan exists. To be fair, a lot of them might not exist. I don't I don't know, but I'm pretty sure World Japan doesn't exist at the, uh, anymore. I'm not convinced Battle Arts does either, uh, which is probably why there's no uh, there's no roster, two of them roster on it. Um, Big Japan, don't know. Anyway, we don't need to worry too much about that. Yeah, so Japan works slightly differently. 
if you've got a, if you hire a wrestler that's on a touring roster, so if we look at Noah, so if we were to hire Cody Hall, when Noah running shows, which he tells you, which you can see it tells you here, you can't book that talent on your show. They prioritise the Japan deal. Likewise, if anyone's touring with Japan, you can't hire the wrestler to a permanent contract with yourself, an exclusive contract. So if we wanted to hire Cody Hall, but we didn't want him to work for Noah, tough, basically. We, we, we can't do it. There's no, there's no way around it. Irrespective of how much money we offered him, he'll turn the contract down. So that can be slightly frustrating. But it's just something, excuse me, to be aware of. Right, now the one useful thing that is a, that is on here, so you can see that at the bottom there, it says announcement dates, uh, new rosters annually announced on July the 1st. So each first of the month, the um, the rosters will update for these for these promotions. So they'll 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 add they'll add wrestlers to it, or they'll some wrestlers that are currently on will get removed. So that's always something that I like to keep an eye on on the first of the month. So for example, zero one will be the first one that's going to change the roster on February the first. So if we if we wanted to sign uh, Masato Tanaka to an exclusive contract, we'd have to wait until February the first and hope that zero one didn't it, it didn't stay tuned with zero one essentially. So that's just something to be aware of. So that's Japan. Um, right, we'll come back to the Ross. What's the mail? Oh yeah, uh, the uh, sponsor confirmation. I'll get rid of those. I forgot your own name, by the way. I didn't go through that. It just gives you. You can shortlist wrestlers if you're going to keep an eye on who people are working for. So let me just do that real quickly. Actually, so let's just put a zero on uh, our shortlist. Okay, wrong, not not by doing that. By doing that. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you do make a shortlist, when you click on that, it just brings them up. So, why, why has he come up? Something's gone wrong there, because he's 16, and <laughs> the lowest age you can be on is 18, so I don't quite know what's happened there. Something's corrupted there. Let me just go back into that. No, I've no idea what that's happening. What is going on? No idea. Anyway, uh, we did shortlist. Uh, let's, that definitely is anything out. I've, I've never seen that before, ever, and I've played this game for over 20 years. So let's go back into here. What is going on here? Because why why is he on there? I shortlisted Acero, didn't I? Yeah, shortlist this worker, yeah. What is happening? I have no idea what that's ha what's happened there. Right, well Acero is there now. So if Acero no idea what happened there. So if Acero got released, we, then that CMLL would change to free agent. Likewise if he got hired. I mean, you don't need to do that, but it's just sometimes it's worth keeping an eye on people if, if you if you want to do that. Let me just go to the roster. I'm a bit worried now, though, that the game's corrupted because because if you go to the search criteria here, the minimum age, you can't go any lower than 18, and yet we've got a 16-year-old. So I'm not quite sure that's actually happened. Anywho, uh, let's start with that. Yeah, so we can see there we've got we've got a Sarah. Anyway, that, that took way too long, and I keep saying anyway, <laughs> because, because I'm totally flustered. Right. So we've looked at that. We'll come back to the roster. So staff. So we need to hire some staff. So Sophie, I mean, I have made a note of this because I did do a little practice file just to make sure that I could do what I wanted to do. So Sophie will tell us what tells us what we need. So we need more wrestlers, which we are gonna we are gonna sort out. Uh, writers, medics, referees, road agents. So let's just go and hire all those people. Uh, right, I've got a list of staff I might, I am going to hire here, so let's just do it. So if we go to other staff, but if you wanted to search, so Sophie, I think she tells us, because we're regional, the, yeah, we can't get anyone, we can't get anyone um, whose skill level is higher than 60, and it doesn't matter, again, it doesn't matter what you offer them, they'll turn the contract down. So if we wanted to hire Aaron Maguire, who's talent 69, lol, we wouldn't be able to do that, because he'd just turn the contract down. So let's get that down to 60 again i know i'm going to hire but let's just go through the motions anyway so if we wanted people that were between 55 and 60 so this just brings up everybody that we we can potentially hire so let's do it one at a time um now i could wait until tomorrow because a lot of stuff will get released when i click continue but i'm not going to do that uh, right, so we need referees first. So let's go to referees. Slow that to 50 just in case. So the two I'm going to hire are these two. 
So EO sister, I believe they are related. It's not just a coincidence because their names are similar. I do think they are related. Now you're best off, if you can, trying to get the wages down as low as possible, but quite often they'll not. Um, so if you go down a little bit, yeah, they'll reject the offer. We'll go back up. Okay. There we go. So she's signed now. Yeah, you obviously, obviously you want to you want to keep your costs down. So try and get them the um, try and get the money down as low as possible. So Shane Rogers, so he only wants four thousand. Um, you know, we'll see if he'll sign for five years. And he will. There we go. Um, oh, actually, there was something else I should have mentioned, which I'll do on the next one. So medical. So we now need some medical. So let's get these people in. So yep, yeah, we're gonna have her. Now you've got different contract types here, verbal and written. If you sign a verbal contract, it means if you fire the person, you don't have to pay them. If you sign them on a written contract, um, it means if you wanted to release them, you would have to pay them. It also means that if they're on a written contract, other, other, com other promotions can't steal your staff. Although, I don't think I've ever had any staff stolen, so don't worry about written contracts, basically. Um, I, I, I'm nearly certain I've never had... Um, I can't think of a time yeah, when that would have happened. I don't think you can do it, so we don't have to worry too much about it. But yeah, that's the difference. Right, Jennifer Solomon. Uh, okay, so let's try and save a little bit of money. We save a thousand pounds, a thousand dollars a month. Yes, we can. And the other one is Vonda. I wonder how much money she'll want. Uh, 16, so coming in down to 14. No, we can't. Can we get on to 15? Yes, we can. I mean, to be fair, I'm, I'm, I'm scrimping over, um, I'm, I'm scrimping over a thousand dollars a month when we're supposed to be making over a million pounds a, um, a show, according to the, uh, the sponsors. But as I said, um, no point spending money if we don't need to write. We need some writers. So let's have a look for those. Now I've got three writers here that I'm going to sign. One of which is Alex Kane. Can he go down to 10? Yes, he can. Uh, Larry Goodman. Will he go down to 7? No, he won't. So, 8, yep. And Sarah Schultz is the last one. No, and she's got a picture. Don't know how accurate these pictures are, but we'll trust them. There we go. Right, we need two road agents. I'm going to hire two road agents. Um... One of which is Andy Weinberg, because I think he only wants about 4000 a month, which is nice. Okay, no he doesn't, ignore that completely. Um, <laughs> right, can we get down to 8? No we can't, doesn't matter. And the last one is, this guy does want 4000 a month I'm sure, so Jerry Oates, which is why we're hiring him. There we go. So let's give him a 5 year deal, because he doesn't want a lot of money. Which means we don't have to renew it for a long time. Right, so there's the staff. So let's just go through the staff that we've now got. So Dino Wood Winwood was already already here. Talent 68, so let's not get rid of him because we won't be able to hire him. We've now got three referees. Uh, Shane, Patrick and Mio. So we'll keep hold of Patrick. Don't think we need to fire him. We'd be, to fair, we could probably get maybe two referees, but we'll keep hold of Patrick for now. Production, you only need one production uh, person. So... If you go on WWE, if you ever start a WWE, their production goes on forever. But you'll actually need one uh, for, for the game to run. So, um, but we'll keep them both anyway because they are more talented than what we can hire. Although Johnny and is on a lot of money, so um, we may change that if, if we're if we're struggling for money. But um, I think we should be okay. There's the two medical people, so we didn't have any. There's the three writers, so we didn't have any before we don't have any trainers because we don't need them although i'm going to hire one i think uh but not just yet and because he works for somebody else um and yeah there's the road agents so we should be okay for now in terms of staff yeah i just think it's worth mentioning sorry uh you can you can look for staff that work for the people but you can't you can't hire them so even if they're on a so we actually have andrew goldstein he's on a written contract we can't offer him a contract but if we could find someone on an open contract that's employed by somebody, no doubt I won't be able to. Uh, I'm just clicking randomly here, so I don't know who's going to come up. Here we go. So Bryce Remsberg. Oh, Bryce Remsberg. So Bryce Remsberg was a bit more pop. It was a bit more famous now than he was when this game came out. Yeah. So he, he, he won't negotiate. So that's what I was saying earlier about I don't think you can lose your staff. You need to fill them for the verbal contract. So it doesn't really. 
<clears throat> it doesn't really matter that one. Right, the last thing we now need to do is look at the roster. So let's do that. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do that. So this is the current PWG roster. Now, according to Sophie, we need to hire some people. But let's just have a look at who we've got at the minute. Because I've got a list here of people that I'm going to get rid of. So, um, yeah. So, Adam Brooks. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go through... I'm not going to go into detail with all of them because there's no point. But let's just quickly go through them. Adam Brooks, Bandido. That's good. Brandon Scott. Don't know who that is. Brody King. Interesting. Um, Darby Allen. You can see that it tells you who else they're working for. So, Brody King... Um, NJPW, I don't know if that's the uh, Japan NJPW or the NJPW that's based in America. Um, let's have a look, let's just go to the promotions real quick. So New Japan Pro Wrestling based in America, I don't know why that's on here really, but, I can, well I kind of get it, obviously they run strong on one or two other things. Brody King, so Brody King's there, so, um, yeah, New Japan. Is he on the he's on the touring roster? Let's just have a look. Don't know. I'm spending so much time looking at this. Um, no, he isn't. There we go. Right, that's that. That's that question answered. Right, back to the roster. Uh, I'll edit that out. Right, Brody King. Yeah, Darby Allen. Cool. David Starr. Don't really know who that is. I'll be honest. <clears throat> Desmond Xavier. One of our tag team champs. Excalibur. There he is. Flamita. Jake Atlas. A bit more famous than he was here. Jeff Cobb. Who's on a lot of money. See, see, there, see there, he's got New Japan listed twice, so. Yeah, maybe that's uh, that's the clue I needed. Kyle Fletcher, Mark Davis, Mike Haskins, Orange Cassidy, um, Ray Horus, Robbie Eagles, Super Dragon, who's unsackable, which is slightly irritating, though understandable, uh, Timothy Thatcher, Trey Miguel, Taylor Bateman, Will Ospreay, and Zachary Wentz. So not a bad little roster. Certainly a little roster, but not a bad one. So let me just get rid of um, some people. So Adam Brooks. I don't want him. So we're going to let him go. Although looking at his stats, I'm not quite sure why. Because he's not that bad. Brawl speed. Yeah, they're not too bad. Let's do that though. Um, so when you get to this screen, you can offer people a release. And they'll normally turn it down. Uh, well, I say normally, it, dep it depends, to be fair. Um, or you can terminate their contract. Now, if you fire people too many times, they will stop. You can't rehire them. So if you fire, if you fire, if you fire somebody twice, if you then want to try and rehire them for a third time, they turn you down. So it is worth releasing people if you can, because that 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 doesn't affect that. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, so that's him gone. Right, Brandon Scott. He's the next one I'm going to get rid of because his stats aren't great. And he's on 9,000 an appearance, so we don't really want to... Okay, right, so get rid of him. Jake Atlas. Again, stats aren't great. Um, it's also at this point that you, if you wanted to um, offer people a written contract, so they were, they were working exclusively for you, this is where you do that. So you can change... So you go to offer a new contract, and you change that to written. And then if you did that, they won't be able to work for anybody else. So they're just, just throwing that out there. I'm going to do that at some point. I don't know if I explained that now. Anyway, let's get rid of Jake Atlas. Um, will he offer it to release? No, he won't. Okay. Tyler Bateman's the last one. Ooh, stats are not too bad, actually. But he's working for NJPW. Yeah, his charisma isn't great. Yeah, so let's get rid of Tyler Bateman. Now, when that comes up... You can't offer a new contract. So if you did want to convert somebody from open to written, but that comes up, you can't do it. So that's slightly irritating. Um, right, so we'll terminate um, his contract because I don't want him. Right, there's a, I've got a couple of other things that I'm going to do. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm not going to do absolutely everything um, be recorded. There is a couple, few reasons for that, but um, I'm not going to go to worry too much about that. Right, so they're the, they're the wrestlers I want to release. Now, I need to hire some wrestlers. But before I do that, I'm going to end this video real quick, because it's going to... It's already 34 minutes long. I've already been rattling on that long. Just one more thing before I click next day that I'm going to do. So, this screen here. So, as you can see here, this is where you... Um, as I said earlier, this is, where you, this is where you set your events up. So, if you want to set an event up in June, 
Then we'd click alter and we'd type the name in. So, um, I can't spell colossal. So, colossal tussle. If wanted to set that up, told you that's spell colossal or tussle, it seems. Um, yeah, we do that there. Now, if you've got an existing event and you want to change it, then this is where you do that here. So, you click on that and you'd pick your new date. Now, it's important to mention that. The only, you can only do that on the first of the month. So if I click continue time and wanted to change the date of this, I won't be able to. Uh, you get a message, I get no message telling me I can't. However, one thing I'm going to do, which again, you can only do on the first of the month, is just for this first month or until I get a, until I get a TV deal, which I'm hopeful is going to be in the next month. Um, I'm going to change to a weekly model. And I think I'm going to run on Thursdays. Because, if we looked, as we see on the TV schedule, not that, <laughs> um, there's no wrestling on Thursdays, so we're going to run on Thursdays. So this is going to be, so for the initial month, just to try and get the, because I want to try and get the public image up, so to do that we need to run events, um, and hopefully good events. So because we haven't got a TV deal, I don't want to waste the first month just basically not doing anything, and only having one, only having one paper, uh, only having one the event which is going to be Hand of Doom. So, this may be a bad idea, but I'm going to change to a weekly model. Yes, we know. Uh, so, let's go to Alter. So, we're going to run a medium event every month, and it's going to be called. Um, now, <clears throat> on the little practice file that I did before I started doing this, I never thought of a name for this. I've got an idea. I need to try and think of something really quick now, otherwise this video is going to go on too long. So because PWG is based in California, which is on the Pacific Coast, I believe, um, hence why there's one of the events is called Battle of Los Angeles, one or two other uh, California-related names. I'm going to call it uh, Pacific... Um, I don't know... Pacific. Think of something quickly. Um, I don't know. Pacific. Um, does it really matter? Pacific. Does it really? No. Pacific. Um, Pacific Power. No, that sounds terrible. Pacific Lights? Pacific? Please think of something quickly. Blast. Why not? Pacific Blast. There we go. So we're going to have a, we we're gonna have a weekly... No idea. We're going to have a weekly uh, event called Pacific Blast. So again, this is going to be similar to how TNA was back uh, when it first started. Sort of weekly, uh, weekly pay-per-views. So we'll change it to every Thursday. Um, right, put Dino on commentary with Excalibur, yeah, blah, 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 we've done that. Okay, so that's that. Um, right, so so we've pretty much done now. So all I need to do now is hire some wrestlers, and I need to do a few other things that I'm going to sort out. And I'm going to do that in the next video. So what I'm going to do now is just click next day. Now, one thing it is, you need to, do need to be aware with this game. You can't, there's no save and load option on this game. So every time you click next day... That's it. You've got to, you, you can't go back in time. So you need to, so that's just something to be aware of. I mean, there is a workaround, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Um, right, so next day. So let's see what happens. We'll get a myriad of emails. That's what's going to happen, or a million emails, I should say. When it loads. Because a lot's happening, that's why this is taking a bit long. It won't take this long every time. I click continue, I promise. There we go. Right. So, 424 emails for me to work through. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the video here. Probably because my laptop's about to run out of battery. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to work through these emails. I'll sort a few other things out and then we'll have a look. We'll have a proper look at the roster and we'll actually start booking some shows on the next video. So that is just a not that brief a whistle stop tour of 
of EWR, Extreme Warfare Revenge, whatever you want to call it, and how the game works. So again, if you don't know, it'll become more obvious when we get into the series. Anywho, that's the end of episode 2, or video 2 I should say. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and share the video. You can also leave a comment on the video should you choose to do that. Uh, when you're on YouTube, if you head on over to the channel, The Uncommentator, you'll find all the other games I've played through on more traditional consoles, non-PC games. So I've got some uh, N64, Super Nintendo, Sega, one or two other bits and bobs on there. So please go and check that out. Uh, also, please subscribe to the channel, it really does help. And as I said, leave booking suggestions and any other comments you want to make about the series. And I'll read them and hopefully we can tie that into what this series is going to become as we move through the year. But Joe, next time we're going to be moving on. Episode number three, we're actually going to start booking and actually get on with it. So until we get to that point for now from me, it is Sayonara. <laughs>